Okay, Paul, Inventor 3 here. Been doing some experiments today. Uh, Saturday here. No, no really good results yet. Uh, not the results we're looking for. I did do one test where I turned off the power going to my lab. Uh, I have two power sources, one coming from the garage and one coming from the house. Uh, unplugged both of them, disconnected both of them from the source. Uh, someone had a question out there wondering if possibly if I might be sucking power from the power that I'm sending to my lab. And uh, I didn't videotape it. It would be quite a while watching me run through the house and the garage and unplug everything. It would be a long video. I can do that if you guys want me to, but it did uh, make no difference. It made absolutely no difference. Uh, I also did a test today where I had Instead of the normal two coils, I added that third little short one uh, on our ground pipe with the little space that you see there. Because, um, like I mentioned in my last video, now you got to found out that uh, you got to hold the pipes to the side, uh, the coils. I'm sorry, the coils to the side of the ground pipe. Uh, it dropped the voltage real fast adding that third one on there it did not work so it's like I got really lucky and just happened to those two coils together without that third one seemed to uh, hit the mark there I don't know if I'd have better results uh, taking some windings off of there or not uh, I could try that uh, as another test I did today with the huge coil from my Tesla coil here and uh, again you gotta make sure because this is what our problem was this pipe has to be positioned exactly flat up against the wall and not only that but it has to run straight through the coil uh, you see I got the blocks at the bottom that's pretty much just a to avoid that little adapter at the bottom there I have that bottleneck uh, so we're keeping the coil exactly up against that copper pipe ground pipe that so makes a huge 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 difference and if I just move the position of this pipe at the top an eighth of an inch quarter of an inch even just an eighth of an inch the voltage will change dramatically so it's quite interesting what's going on uh, we thought we were tuning it uh, the only reason I, I doesn't make a difference how high where it's positioned on the pipe that does not make a difference I just needed those blocks under there why I saw that made a difference in earlier videos was because well without the blocks uh, your your coils cannot be up against flat up against the pipe going through there because it would hit that adapter so just keeping them up above that adapter but yeah it is strange it's almost like there's two things going on one thing is the ground having to go through the coils and also another thing is the fact that the copper itself affects the voltage that can build up in there uh, kinda makes me think a little bit I keep thinking about that KLM coil or KML or KLM or whatever it is coil uh, basically, they just take a coil and run the ends of the coils through itself. Huh. So, uh, I'm going to start probably playing around with some more capacitor variations with the circuit now. Uh, so, the best results we're having 
Like I said, this is only getting us. Oh, why do I always get the sun glare? 36, 9. I had it up to 40. Like I said, it's extremely touchy as to exactly where I position that pipe. So it's not just that the pipe has to be flat up against the inside wall of the coil, but it's also extremely important how straight it is going through there. And right now it doesn't quite look straight. I don't know if that's just an optical illusion or what. But more tests to come. Uh, no great results, but we're uh, figuring things out little by little what works, what doesn't work. So uh, I have no problem getting up to 118, 116, 118 volts all the time consistently now. Uh, I still can't seem to get up to that 126 and a half again. Uh, and it's strange because like I said if I use those coils now and I get them positioned on that pipe with it flat up against the inside then adding the ferret rod and other rods inside like cancel out the effect they start bringing the voltage down now so we're gonna run with this set up there Start doing more variations with the circuit. Uh, maybe add a whole additional wire, antenna wire, and circuit coming down. Uh, the length of my antenna wire is 58 feet exactly up to that alligator clip that I have soldered on there. I don't know if figuring out. Uh, wavelengths and stuff if I'm gonna have to calculate in the extra two feet of alligator wire there and the extra two feet on that clip and the wire going to the coils but uh, yeah I might be doing some math soon to figure out what frequencies and uh, I should be picking up uh, with this uh, length of wire so Inventor 3 signing off. Uh, hopefully we have more exciting results in the next video. Till we see you again. Live long and prosper.